What's up guys? So uh, I have another thermal camera demo that I was just demoing to a company the other day. It's a more advanced one than the last one I had so I thought I'd make a little video about it. It's uh, a FLIR thermal imaging camera. It's the model's A310. Um, I'll just give you a little rundown. So I've got it hooked up to my computer here. Oh, this is the back of the camera. It's The camera's actually inside. This is an explosion proof housing that you'd see uh, in situations and atmospheres where obviously there's a potential for explosions or anything like that. So um, this is just a casing. The camera's much smaller. It's on the inside. And then they've got this uh, circuit board. It's just a jumper board pretty much off the back of the camera to another board that you can hook into the back. With the yellow cable here is the video line, which is going to uh, this camera, a broadcast camera. The reason I'm doing that is because I need to convert it from um, a, an RCA feed or a standard NTSC feed, if anyone knows what I'm talking about, uh, over to a DV feed, which my computer has a DV input. So I've got it over here, and then I've got it displaying here. And uh, this is the bottom right program. Uh, that's what I'm going to use to record the video. Uh, this program over here is actually what I can control the camera with. And that's the blue wire. It's the Ethernet wire coming off uh, just like a computer. It's an Ethernet port. And it communicates with my computer with an IP address to this program, which allows me to do several functions. Like I can change the, the palette color, which is the color filter. It's on iron right now. This is changing it to gray, so it's more of a, a gray scheme. You can see in the bottom uh, right, that's my radiator or my heater. Um, you can change all the temperature schemes. All I'm not going to get too into it. You can actually have alarm set up, so I can have a spot temperature. You can see here, if I go to this alarm tab, I know my camera won't focus, but I can put a spot on here and I could actually measure the exact temperature of any spot on the screen. Oh, uh, what else? This cable here, that's just the power. Uh, 24 volt DC, I would assume, or 12 volt. I think it takes either or. And then this brown wire, that's just a grounding cable, an electrical ground. Uh, so yeah, that's the camera. Pretty much, I'll probably post. I'll just uh, throw a picture in the video of what the camera looks like because this is just the housing, as I said. Um, I'm gonna do some experiments. I think I'm gonna, I don't know. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm just going off comments of my last videos, and the first thing I'm gonna do is just get a pot of hot water and put some ice cubes in it. So I'm gonna put this thing back together. So I. Uh, I placed a little bottle of lemon juice over there for my fridge. You can see it on here. I'll post the actual feed on the video so you can see it better. I'm just going to go shake it up a bit. You can actually see where the level is of the liquid. So I'm just going to put it back down here. I'll shake it up so the temperature will disperse over the top. Those markers are just to tell me where my camera or where I need to position objects within the camera focal range. So if you actually watch it, you can uh, see the liquid draining down and then the top plastic part will, uh, will, will uh, warm up with the room. Sorry, I've had a few beers. So I'm going to bring a pot of hot water and put cold ice into it to kind of see how the heat disperses. So, yeah, I'm already recording, so I'm going to go grab the water. I think this is going to be the last experiment. I'm kind of getting tired tonight. Um, the whole purpose of this is I want to hear suggestions of what you guys think I should do for with the thermal camera. So, uh, just, just bear with me here. Alright, there's the hot water. Willow, stay away from that. It's not for drinking. Alright, so I've actually got a spot meter on there. And you can see, um, it's 80 degrees. 
Celsius, so I'm going to put some ice into it. See what happens. I get Willow out of the way. Uh, all right. I guess I can put this camera down. I'm switching back and forth between two cameras. So one's uh, capturing my audio. The other one's the thermal camera has no audio, obviously. Let's see what this looks like. Just put a whole bunch in there. I guess it's not that exciting. Just just a bunch of uh, black cubes breaking apart. Let's try to zoom in a little bit. See what happens. Interesting. Not really though. Looks like lava. Well. You can see how fast it's uh, dropping temperature. It's at 70 degrees now. I guess there's not much else I should put in there. Um, what else can I do?